Indian name is Lonely Man. I was born in Germany, but most time of the year I live like an Indian. That's what we're experiencing here, playing cowboy and Native Americans all year long. There's a very big romantic idea of Native American Indians in Germany. It's part of the German culture. Favorite there was always Manitou. The superhero, it's the guy you dream, you wanted to be. Germans saw the bad Yankee, they saw the good German, and they also saw the fantastically good American Indian, with whom they could feel a sense of bond. Warum stehen die Deutschen so auf Indianer? Ja, Indianer sind schon toll, ne? Ich meine, wenn ich mich jetzt so angucke, schon super. Also, Jan Sosniak is a television star in Germany. But this summer, some 300,000 people will see him perform in person in Bad Segeberg, a small town three hours north of Berlin. In a theater production that has drawn large crowds for more than 60 years, the actor plays the role of one of the biggest folk heroes Germany has ever seen, the fictional Apache chief, Vinnetou. Vinnetou sah noch nie Hufabdrücke wie diese. Der Reiter muss schneller gewesen sein als der Er ähm, verkörpert, wo wir uns nach sehnen, das Verständnis der Mutter Erde, die Art der Freundschaft, die er pflegt. Was soll Veneto tun? Wie er mit den Menschen umgeht, was er von Frieden hält. Chibabik, sei ein Bruder der Apachen. Winnetou ist der Häuptling aller Apachen. Er ist eigentlich ein, er ist eine Erfindung von Karl May. Karl May, I believe, is the author who sold the most books in Germany. That means he sold more books than Goethe, more books than Thomas Mann. Basically, everyone read his books. The closest thing I could get to this in contemporary American culture is people who grew up reading the Harry Potter books, and everyone would know a particular character within the book. Same is true with Winnetou. And to this day, I think, you could play the theme song to the Winnetou films, and everyone will recognize it. I think the first one I saw, I was 12 or 13. I saw it about 20 times. We were just running to the, to the cinema. The music was so great, and the landscape, and the horses, and the dream, just dreams. Mein Bruder. Mein Bruder. Vinnetou rides through Karl May's adventures alongside his German blood brother, both in the movies and in Bad Segeberg. Ich bin froh, dass wir wieder Seite an Seite reiten, mein Bruder. I am old Shatterhand and I am uh, an author coming to America. From there I get to know Vinnetou and from then on I fight for tolerance, for loyalty and for values like that. Ich kämpfe an der Seite eines jeden Mannes, der für das Gute einsteht. Karl May wrote a character, basically his old alter ego, uh, who is who's good in I don't know, 15, 16, 20 languages. He's good in astronomy, zoology, uh, physics. He, he's good at everything. Karl May told his fans he experienced the adventures he wrote about firsthand. But in fact, he never traveled to North America until after he had written most of his Vinnetou stories. Before he became famous, his imagination got him into trouble with the law. The Hauptdelikte waren Diebstahl, das heißt, dass er Pelze gestohlen hat, die er dann äh, im, einer, im Pfandhaus versetzte. Das nächste Delikt war Amtsanmaßung, also dass er äh, sich eben als Polizeileutnant ausgegeben hat. Und das hat ihn dann im insgesamt sieben Jahre Gefängnis eingebracht. The books are very much German literature. The heroes in them are largely German characters out in the American West. The other characters that are quite critical are the Indians themselves. And through most of these stories, it's really the Indians who are the good guys. And this is a big difference between the ways in which Americans engage with playing Indian and the ways which Germans would play Indian. You know, most of the time in Germany, the kids would want to be the Indians, not the cavalry who are going to win the battle at the end. My Indian name is Lonely Man. I come from the near of Chemnitz. I was born in, here in Sachsen, but most time of the year I live like an Indian. Jürgen Michaelis used to live in a teepee much of the year. At the Karl May Museum near Dresden, he shares what he has learned about the Lakota Sioux, wearing clothing and showing artifacts he made himself. 
and some people ask me how do you make this and I uh, we speak over them. He's never been to North America, but he says his five decade long engagement with Native American culture has changed his life. It's a simple life for me. Uh, every day I, uh, I see what I Jedes, äh, ich merke immer wieder neu, was ich nicht brauche. So to this day, there are groups of hobbyists that meet. Sometimes a thousand will gather in a particular field, near a forest, where they'll live in teepee encampments and dress like 19th century American Indians. Ob ich ein echter Indianer bin, die Kinder fragen es immer wieder. Ich sage, das müsst ihr selbst entscheiden. Für die einen ist man äh, etwas abgehoben, weil man im Tipi lebt. Für die anderen ist man nicht genau genug. Äh, das muss der Besucher selbst entscheiden. Es gab genug Weiße, die bei Indianern lebten, Schwarze, die bei Indianern lebten. Das waren selbstverständlich Leute von ihnen. What I think what really is important for humanity is uh, uh, holding, keeping a contact to, to the spirits of nature, to the spirits of the world. Lux is a cat. I'm not a cat, man. I share with the children wisdom which had been shared with me by Native American Indians. Gerd Brandt tours Germany with his teepee and the stories and rituals he's learned from Lakota Indians. I choose this culture because it helped myself in my living. I was asking uh, what is the meaning of life. Through the people I met and through the ceremonies especially, I really got a, a contact to something that just made me feeling better. And slowly, step by step, becoming more loving to myself and more accepting myself. I even used drugs and uh, uh, it's, it's gone. Die Gedanken der Indianer, die sind mir nicht fremd. Ich habe vor zehn Jahren einen Kurs mitgemacht bei einem Indianer und, und der hat uns eben auch gezeigt, welche Werkzeuge sie auch benutzen. Das Gefühl hat eine, spielt eine große Rolle, äh, eben, wie ich sagte, die, die Geister zu rufen der, der einzelnen Elemente, Feuer, Wind, Wasser, Luft. Also es, es existiert ja alles und man kann, eben, man kann eben mit den Arbeiten, wenn man das zulässt. Ja? Und natürlich kann man es immer schnell als Spinnerei wegtun, aber wenn man es einmal ausprobiert hat äh, und man sieht, dass es funktioniert, dann finde ich, ist es schon wirklich beachtlich. On the day of this year's premiere in Bad Segeberg, we asked Zasniak how he thinks Native Americans might perceive the production. Meinst du, dass es in Amerika Indianer gibt, die sich darüber ärgern, dass du oder dass die Deutschen mit roter Bemalung Indianer spielen? Spielen wir mit roter Bemal Bemalung? Ja, so mit Make-up und so. Ach so. Ja, die ist ja nur notwendig, weil, also ich ja nicht, ich bin ja schon wirklich braun gebrannt, aber ähm, mh, weiß ich nicht, glaube ich nicht. Also, nee, glaube ich nicht. Wir, wir spielen ja, ähm, wir erzählen sie ja doch positiv und es gäbe keinen Grund für die Indianer, äh, das nicht mit Wohlwollen zu sehen. Also. Before March of this year, I had never heard of Karl May. I understand that he was a German author that wrote about Native American culture, belief. I understand that he was very much enamored. The books that he wrote are very much romanticized fantasy, and I don't look at that with like uh, being offended or totally negative. He opened the door for some to try to understand who we are as a people, and I don't think he had a bad intent in mind when he wrote those books, but they've had an impact. We became very concerned when we heard that the Karl May Museum in Radeboil, Germany, had uh, scalps and uh, ancestral human remains. After a face-to-face -face meeting with Mr. Pavlat, the museum stopped displaying scalps but whether or not it will return the artifact in question 
is unclear. Uh, yeah, we will not have confrontation with the Indianern. Gehen. Das ist erstmal Fakt. Auf der anderen Seite, ein Museum hat den Auftrag, Objekte kulturgeschichtlicher Art zu bewahren, zu beschützen. Also wir können nicht einfach irgendwelche äh, kulturgeschichtlichen Gegenstände vernichten, äh, wo noch gar nicht feststellt, wo sie überhaupt her sind. When we repatriate our, our ancestral remains, it is important to bring them back home to this place and respectfully bury them into the womb of our Earth Mother in a, in a sacred and appropriate manner. We understand and believe in not only the physical world, but the spiritual world. When that spiritual journey is interrupted, it is important for us to correct that. So when one scalp is taken, then that person becomes incomplete. That spirit becomes incomplete and that journey is interrupted. Sollte sich herausstellen, dass dieser Skalp tatsächlich zu dem Stamm gehört, würden Sie den auch zurückgeben? Wenn das eindeutig feststehen sollte und es gibt keine anderen Ansprüche, ja gut, dann kann man darüber auch reden. I really don't know or understand how another being can hold parts of another human basically hostage without knowing that it it's offensive and inappropriate and unacceptable. The extent to which Karl May's work lacks authenticity is not lost on Germans like Jens Kalle. He grew up watching the performances in Bad Segeberg and later studied at the Institute of American Indian Art in New Mexico. The burial dance was one of those things I really don't like to see. It's, uh, because it's so, <laughs> so I don't have any any words for um, this kind of grotesque scenery. The dancing, the choreography of the dances and stuff like that, that's got nothing to do with real Native Americans. The Apaches didn't live in Pueblos or <laughs> the, um, the Plains Indians didn't have totem poles or <laughs> 500 different cultures and uh, he was putting it all in a big pot and making his Indian stereotype, which most Germans still believe is true today. Authentic or not, the Germans continue to love Karl May. Nur die Geister, an die wir glauben, sind wirklich lebendig. In Bad Segeberg, Vinutu and Old Shatterhand made peace with the Comanches and defeated the villains once again. They will be back next year. <laughs>